Today's topic is preparation of ammonium nitrate. In today's video, we will understand through flow sheet diagram how ammonium nitrate is made in chemical industry. In this video we will discuss the following points. So let's get started. First of all, we will know what is ammonium nitrate. Ammonium nitrate is a chemical compound with the formula New Hampshire 4NO3. It is a white, crystalline solid that consists of ammonium icons and nitrate icons. It is commonly used as a high nitrogen fertilizer in agriculture due to its ability to provide essential nutrients to plants. Additionally, it is widely used in the manufacturing of explosives, such as ANFO, ammonium nitrate, fuel oil, due to its high oxygen content and stability. Ammonium nitrate has a molecular weight of 80.05 grams per mole, a melting point of 170 degrees Celsius, and a boiling point of 200 degrees Celsius with decomposition. It readily dissolves in water. Ammonium nitrate is used in fertilizer, explosives, and miscellaneous chemicals. The main reaction involved in the manufacture of ammonium nitrate is as follows. To produce ammonium nitrate, the main ingredients required are nitric acid, liquid ammonia, and clay. Now we will understand the working process of the production of ammonium nitrate through a step-by-step -step flow sheet. So let's start. First, liquid ammonia and approximately 60% aqueous nitric acid are sent from the storage tank to the liquid phase reactor. The temperature inside the liquid phase reactor is maintained at approximately 140 degrees Celsius throughout the process. This temperature causes water to boil during the reaction and exit the top section of the reactor. The reactor is equipped with an agitator, which facilitates the mixing of ammonia and nitric acid for the reaction. When ammonia and nitric acid react, a salt solution is formed, which contains about 75% ammonium nitrate. This reaction is exothermic. The resulting salt solution is then transferred to a vacuum evaporator to increase the concentration of ammonium nitrate. The vacuum evaporator utilized in this process includes a vacuum ejector, which generates a vacuum during the evaporation process. As evaporation occurs within the evaporator, the concentration of ammonium nitrate increases. The resulting product obtained from this stage consists of approximately 95% solid ammonium nitrate and around 5% liquid, with a temperature of approximately 130 degrees Celsius. It is worth noting that the presence of 5% liquid is intentional to aid in the flow of solid ammonium nitrate through the pipeline. To transform the solid ammonium nitrate into granulated form, it is subsequently conveyed to the prilling tower. Ammonium nitrate is sprayed from the top section of the prilling tower, which has a height ranging from 60 to 75 meters. As the ammonium nitrate descends from the top section of the tower, surface tension causes it to assume a round shape. Meanwhile, Conditioned air is introduced into the tower from the bottom section. As the descending ammonium nitrate comes into contact with the air, its temperature decreases, and the moisture present in it, around 5% water, is removed. This process results in the formation of round, solid grains of ammonium nitrate. Ultimately, the prilling tower yields granular ammonium nitrate. The diameter of granular ammonium nitrate is typically targeted to be 1.5 mm. To assess this, a screen, which functions as a sieve, is employed. If the diameter of the ammonium nitrate grains is 1.5 mm or smaller, they successfully pass through the screen and proceed to the steam heated conveyor dryer. Conversely, if the grain diameter exceeds 1.5 mm, it is directed for recycling. Before the clay coating process, it is essential to dry the ammonium nitrate. For this purpose, a steam heated conveyor dryer is utilized to remove moisture from the ammonium nitrate. Once dried, the ammonium nitrate is then transferred to the coating drum, where it is coated with clay. The clay coating serves to modify and enhance the specific properties of the ammonium nitrate. Finally, after the clay coating process, granular ammonium nitrate is obtained, and it is stored for further use.